I really wanted to have a rattan look mirror in my kid's bathroom, but they were so expensive. So instead, I bought these plain oval mirrors, and today I'm gonna show you how to dress them up with a simple rattan frame. I'm gonna start by creating the frame out of foam board that I picked up at the dollar store. And because of course my mirror is an inch too tall and too wide, I had to buy two pieces. So this is like $2.50 into this project already. And we're gonna set them next to each other so that I can apply white duct tape to tape them together. And then we'll trace the mirror on the foam board. My frame is only going to be an inch and a half wide, so I don't have to tape all the way across. Okay, and then I'll get it taped on the other side. Okay, now we can trace. What's cool about this is you can make a frame for any odd shaped mirror or if you buy like a mirror at an antique store and it has a little bit of chipping on the edges, you can make a frame for it to cover up the chips. Now, because I want my mirror to be an inch and a half thick, I'm going to use a tape measure to measure an inch and a half in a few different spots around and then connect the dots. Curve going around. Okay. Your lines don't have to be perfect because once we get it wrapped in this wicker cord, you won't even be able to tell. I'm using this knife. It's not a utility knife, it's smaller than that but it worked really well when I made the other frame. So we're gonna use it again, and I'll post a link to it below. All right, I have a piece of plywood so I don't cut my table. Because the foam board has a couple of layers, you can just kind of score the top layer and then go back and cut all the way through. And because this blade is so thin, it makes it easy to do the round turns. Getting close. Let's see. Dun, da, da, da. We have the base of our frame. I picked up a can of spray paint that is similar to the brown of my wicker cord. And I'm going to give it a quick little coat so that if anything shows through after it's wrapped, it's not a big deal because it'll be the same color. And make sure you get the inside and outside edges of the frame. So once this dries, we'll get to the next step. All right, I'm gonna start with the frame face down so I can get a nice helping of glue on the back, wrap it a couple of times, and then clamp the cord so that it has a nice solid start. And I'm just using this multi-surface glue. So I'll get it started. I'm just getting it centered up in the bottom of the oval. Especially on this first part, you will get glue all over your fingers, so have a rag ready or work on top of a drop cloth. All right, so the first part anchored. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the inside and outside edges as I go around, and we're just gonna wrap it. So just feed the bundle through a couple of times and then you can set the cord where it needs to go. Have the cord touching the piece but you can get it as tight as possible. 
and just pull it tight as you go. This kind of project is perfect to set up in the living room and do while you watch your favorite show. Or you could listen to your favorite podcast. Maybe share your favorite podcast below. I'm always looking for new ones to listen to. I have the Today's Homeowner podcast you can listen to every week. At this point, you just keep doing the same thing over and over again until you make it all the way around. You'll have to stop and untwist every so often. If you want to stop and take a break, just clamp the last piece that you did. I already made one of these frames and this cord is left over from that. So I'm about to come to the end of it and need to start on a new one. I just wanted to let you know that if you're only making one, then you only need one package of cord. All right, I'm at the end or the beginning as the case may be. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue on the back, wrap it, clamp it, cut it. I'm cutting the cord. Okay, so after this dries, I'll be able to take it to the bathroom. I have some clear mounting tape that I'll put on the two sides, the top and bottom, and just stick it right on top of the mirror. Okay, the frame is all dry, so I'm ready to get it attached to the mirror. I'm going to be using clear mounting strips so that you don't see the reflection of any colored strips in the mirror itself. So I'm just gonna attach it at four points and get it stuck to the mirror. Make sure I have it covering the edges before I really get it stuck down in there. Okay, feels good. And because the frame is so lightweight, I'm not worried about it staying attached. There we go, mirror, mirror on the wall.